In this video, we'll be solving an inconsistent system of equations. Now, the system we're going to be working with is 7x plus 3y equals negative 5, and negative 14x minus 6y equals negative 10. Now, typically, you won't know that the system is inconsistent until you actually get started working on it. This one will be pretty obvious once we multiply to eliminate one of our variables. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top equation by 2. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that I can use elimination. This x coefficient will be positive 14. And this x coefficient is negative 14. So that when I add those together, I'll uh, have the x terms eliminated. So let me rewrite this equation. This will be 2 times 7x is 14x. And then 2 times 3y is 6y. And on the right side, I have 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Now, I don't have to do anything to this equation except copy it. I have negative 14x minus 6y equals negative 10. And when I add these two equations together, 14x and negative 14x gives me 0. Those cancel out. And also 6y and negative 6y, those cancel out. When everything cancels out, remember that you still have to write your 0 on the left hand side. On the right hand side of the sum of these two equations, I have a negative 10 and a negative 10. That gives me negative 20. Whenever you come up with an obviously false statement, because 0 does not equal negative 20, this, this is a false statement. Therefore, uh, no solution. Or you may want to just write an empty set. This is your uh, symbol that indicates uh, an empty set. So this uh, system is inconsistent, but the equations are still independent of each other. And remember that this occurs when the lines are parallel. There's no points where the lines intersect.